Now there is a way to check and see if a stock is a growth stock versus an income stock. One way that you can check is to look at the beta of a stock. This is not a hard and fast rule because there are exceptions, but the beta of a stock means the volatility of a stock compared to the benchmark. Usually the benchmark that is being used is the S&P 500. The S&P 500 tracks the 500 biggest companies, biggest public companies in the US. The benchmark, the S&P 500 is always going to be one. So if you look at a stock and you look at the beta and the beta is above one, that means that it's more volatile compared to the benchmark. If it's below one, that means that it's less volatile compared to the benchmark, which is in this case, the S&P 500. Just take a look at this example. So for example, McDonald's Corporation has a beta of 0.68. Nike has a beta of 0.84. And Apple, which is a tech stock, has a beta of 1.28. Now, with the beta of a stock, what you need to think about is the risk involved. So, a stock that is more volatile, that has a higher beta, of course, that's a stock that's a lot more risky compared to a stock with a lower beta. So, how can you use this to your advantage? Well, let's say you are a brand new investor, you're young, you want to play the stock market game. You can take on stocks that have a higher beta that are a lot more risky. Because you have all the time on your side to learn how the stock market works and you can actually take that gamble of investing in high beta stocks. Now, if you're somebody who is close to retirement age, you're in your 50s or 60s and you want something that's a lot more stable, then definitely you need to pay attention to stocks that have a lower beta.